Hi, Juan Pablo. My name is Lynn Rothschild, and I'm an evolutionary biologist, microbiologist, and most recently a synthetic biologist at NASA Ames Research Center in California. And I also do some teaching. I'm an adjunct physician at Brown University in Rhode Island and at the University of California, Santa Cruz. As part of my job, I do a lot of public lecturing, I do field research, and occasionally I even film documentaries. So I just, in fact, came back from Australia where I was giving some lectures and then the last few days I was out in the field with the film crew filming for a documentary on life in the universe. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Very nice to meet you, Lynn. My name is Juan Pablo Marufo del Toro and I am a Jesuit priest. I've been a Jesuit for 13 years. You can't be that old. I'm very old. <laughs> they must take them very young. <laughs> <laughs> I joined the society when I was 24, and I was just ordained a priest over one year ago in Los Angeles, in Hollywood, California. So I'm you're a Hollywood parish. priest. I'm a Hollywood <laughs> priest. I studied systematic theology and spiritual theology, specializing in faith and science dialogue. It's a lot of astronomy and astrobiology and creation and how God relates to the world and how we better understand God through our better understanding of the universe. You are studying life in other places in the universe, not just on Earth. Well, in fairness, we haven't found life elsewhere. So right now I'm not studying life elsewhere, but I'm studying the potential for life elsewhere. The search to see if we really are alone in our solar system, in our galaxy, and the universe as a whole. And when I say we, I don't mean you and me as people, but we as a life form. Is life something that's a unique phenomenon on planet Earth, or is it found elsewhere, or maybe is it actually very common? And in any case, whether there is one other example or literally billions, is this other life like us? or is it very different? Maybe we're a very typical example, maybe we're the only way you can create life, or maybe we're just one of many, many varieties, just as we've learned that our solar system is one of many ways that you can put together a solar system. Very exciting time to live. I'm asking you right now, what do you think? Are we alone? <laughs> Well, my answer when people ask is that I understand Lloyds of London stopped mm -hmm. taking bets on whether it was life on Mars a few years ago. So they've put their money where their, their mouth is. Um, they're, they're, they think that it may be out there. If we, are re we, meaning scientists, are right about our ideas of the origin of life, that you need certain chemicals, which we know are available from meteorites and comets and the sort of experiments that were pioneered by Yuri and Miller in the 1950s, where they simulated the early Earth and they sparked gas mixtures and so on. You get the building blocks for life. So if our ideas of going from those building blocks and then having certain physical and chemical conditions, certain environments that allow life to form um, are right, we now know that those conditions exist in many, many other places, even within our solar system and certainly within our galaxy and the, the literally billions of other galaxies. And so if we're right about all this, I would be shocked if life didn't arise elsewhere, whether it's still alive today or not, it's another matter. If it turns out that we are alone in the universe, something that we will not know within our lifetime because there's no way we'll be able to search enough places to make us um, confident. But if our descendants come to that reluctant conclusion that we are the only life form in the universe, then that means that our ideas on how life originates are wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, it's certainly a, a probability game. I think that um, you end up with lots and lots of different chemical combinations and most of those probably don't go anywhere. A few of them lead to life and maybe there just weren't enough to start or maybe it's more than just certain chemical and physical conditions. Maybe there are just so many you need to have this, this, this and this that the chance of getting everything together at the right time is too slim. I don't know. but. From what I know today about science and the places where these conditions could occur, I would find it very hard to believe that we are indeed alone in the universe. It's been great talking to you, Lynn. It's Thank been you a real pleasure, much. Juan Pablo. Thank you very much for Look this opportunity. Look forward to doing it again.